Doors and Windows, Add and Edit Windows. We've already learned how to add and edit the doors, and adding and editing windows is very, very similar. What I'd like to do is start in a plan view. So let's go to the main floor plan. Just double click on that. And let's just zoom in. We're going to start putting a window here. How do you put a window in? Well, go to the Window tool under Architecture, so Window. Now what you can do is just hover over where you want to put it. Now before you click, what I'd like you to do is look up in the ribbon and see this. Tag on placement. If that is blue, you're going to get something that looks like that. And when you put the doors in, it's exactly the same. You'll get a tag. It's best not to tag too early because your door numbers and numbering in general may change. And the tagging is very, very fast, but if you have to keep changing numbers, then it can be a little bit of a pain because these are always in the way. And people may be asking questions, oh, why is that that number? Well, we don't really even need to talk about numbering yet. So what I would recommend is don't tag on placement. So I'm just going to uncheck that, and I'm going to add in a window over here. And when you drop it in, you'll notice there's no tag. What do you do with the tag if it's there? Well, I'm going to hit Escape twice, click on the tag, hit the Delete key on the keyboard, and then it just deletes it. It's not going to delete its schedule or its number or anything like that. It's just deleting the tag. Okay, let's go to a 3D view here. And let's spin this around and look in. So there's a window, but is that the window that we want? Well, let's take a look at our sketches. It sort of indicated that there was going to be these kind of long slit type windows, just because there's a lot of light coming in through here. That's going to be a classroom, there may be a projector or something like that. So we really don't want it too, too bright in there. On the other side, although we can't see it, they want to go with that same motif because there's going to be some washrooms. And there really are a lot of windows in right there. Okay, so if I click on this window, how do I turn it into that kind of long, skinny window? Well, it's the same as when we edited the door. We click on the window. And then we're going to go to Edit Type. Now, before we do Edit Type, I could click in the Type Selector and just see if there's our size there. But no, there isn't. So let's make a new one. So let's just go to Edit Type and Duplicate. It's always this way. I'm going to call this one Window 1. I avoid putting sizes in names because it kind of locks you down to a certain size. I'm just going to start with Window 1, and then I can tweak the size without having to tweak the name. Okay, so the height, that is this dimension here, just that vertical dimension. It's not very high, it's maybe one foot six. And then the width, though, is quite long, so it's maybe something like eight feet. And let's just try that, okay? Okay, that's not bad. Maybe we want to match up with one of these garage doors below. So let's just go in and edit the type again. We don't need to duplicate it this time because we're just tweaking window one to get it right. We're not really making a new version. I'm just going to type in 10 feet and apply that and then say OK. OK, so the only thing here is it's too low and it's not quite centered. So let's center it first. I'm going to go to Modify and then I'm going to go to the Align tool. So I'll just click on Align. And what I can do is I can align to various points. For instance, I could pick the corner of that and say align that to it. Don't click on that little lock. That's a no-no. I'm going to just try this again there, and I'm going to zoom right in and just pick that right there. Okay, that's a little better. So it's aligned this way. We may want to refine it later, but now we want it to go a little higher. So what are we going to do? Well, let's go to modify, which is the same as hitting escape twice. Click on the window. Notice it's sill height, it's three feet. Let's just put that up a little higher. It's not really meant to look out, it's just meant for a little bit of natural light. The ceiling is about 14 feet, it's one foot six. Let's try it up at nine feet and see how that looks. So that's the sill height up at nine feet. Okay, that looks good, and we can edit that if we want to. Now we also want to put these around the other side, and we could do this in 3D just spin this around. So that's already done. Let's click on this window and we're going to change this one to a window one. 
Now you can see here that it's warning us, hey, this conflicts with a joined wall. Okay, where, what? Aha, so right there, it's intersecting with a wall. So Revit will warn you about stuff like that. Plus, that's kind of a bad detail, I think. Okay, so let's just change its height. So I'm gonna go to nine feet, I think we said. Now the only thing is our ceiling, if we just spin around here, we may see that it's just below our ceiling, yeah. So let's change the height of this one down. Let's go down to eight feet. There we go. Now we still have a problem because it's kind of crossing our wall here. So we might want to make another version. Okay, so we're going to want to move this over. It already is clicked, but we can click on it again and just use the move tool. And right now in 3D, it's a little bit of a challenge but I'm just gonna move it over along that same plane. You can even use these different temporary dimensions. Okay, so I could say that's gonna be, you know, seven feet from the corner. Okay, it's gotta go a little farther. Gotta be nine feet. Okay, so that's better. So we got a window there. Now we could right click on this and let's choose create similar. Okay, so it's gonna put another one in there. Now the height is not locking in, so let's just drop it in purposely lower. And I'm going to hit escape twice. Let's click on this one. I'm going to click on that window. And let's make a window too. So I'm going to go edit type, duplicate it. And automatically, because it was window one, now it's window two. Okay, great. And this one's going to be a lot shorter. So let's make it half, five feet. And then okay. Good, so we can kind of stretch it and get it approximately where we want it. And then we can say the sill height's at eight feet in the properties palette. And we can also adjust these little temporary dimensions. Okay, so we might want that two feet from the corner. Okay, we can spin around and maybe we want another one over here and this will be the last window that we put in. So I'm gonna to go to architecture, window, and there's window one. And I'll just sort of purposely drop it just there. Hit escape a couple times. Let me click on this. See it's sill height, who knows, right? So let's just change that to eight feet as well and then apply. Now maybe we want it at kid height level, so maybe we want it like sill height at like four feet. Now let's go to our main floor. I just want to take a look at this and zoom out. Notice that's the only window that we can even basically see. That's because our view range is actually set lower than these windows are. So we're going to do a little bit of work later on refining our model, and that'll be one of the things that we work on getting those windows so they're all visible even though they're at different heights.